right. Now, Chris, Chris Nolan, never heard of the guy, <laughs> you, you know, got this script of Memento, and I don't know how much your, your fans uh, know about movie scripts, but a movie script, roughly first draft of a movie script is about 120 pages. Mm -hmm. And that's standard first draft. And then the producers will try to cut that down to 110, even 98. Right. I, was, <laughs> I, I think I said one movie, they cut it down to 91. Oh, and wow. <laughs> that, that's when you know you're in, a, in yeah. trouble. Yeah. So, so I get this script, and it looks like the, the New and Old Testament of the Bible. Oh, it's, man. it's like huge. This script is huge. I'm looking at it. It's like. I'm making this number up now, but it was like 340 pages. It was like gigantic. Right. And I'm going like, okay, well, this is a sign of real amateur. This is a sign <laughs> that this movie is just going to be terrible. But right. I will read it. John Pepsodero was the casting director, and he's super good. So I wanted to do the best I could reading this amateur script. <laughs> so I start reading this script called Memento, and I get like halfway through it, and my wife, Annie, is walking through the room, and I'm going, oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. And she goes, why? Is it as bad as you think? I said, no. So far, it's turning into the best script I've ever read, but I know there's no way they could sustain this, and it's going to end up being just <laughs> terrible. Yeah. So she walks back through. So I'm reading another two hours, oh, and man. then I throw the script against the wall. I finished, throw the script, and yeah. she stuck her head back in and said, terrible. I go, <laughs> best script I ever read. Oh, man. <laughs> Absolute best yeah. script I ever read. I said, it's mesmerizing from beginning yeah. to end. It's ingenious. I called up my agent immediately, and I said, look, I have to go in on Memento. You have to get me an appointment. I have to meet Chris Nolan. Yeah. We, have to, we have to do this. And, and so I get the appointment, and I go in and meet Chris, and – he, he said, so Stephen, you, you read the script? I said, yes. And uh, I, I am interested in Sammy Jenkins. He says, well, you know, there isn't a lot to read as Sammy Jenkins. I said, well, Chris, I'm not here to read for you. Uh, <laughs> I'm just here to say this. This is one of the best scripts I've ever read, and I've read so many scripts. This thing is brilliant. Right. And so there are going to be a lot of actors in Los Angeles that are going to want to be in your script, but I... And I am betting you, I am going to be the only actor you will see reading for Sammy Jenkins that's actually had amnesia. <laughs> and what? he said, you've had amnesia? And I go, yes. And this is how that happened. I had a kidney stone, and I had to go to the hospital to have it removed, and they used an, ex <laughs> they used an <laughs> experimental drug on me yeah. as my anesthesia. And what they were trying out was this new drug to give to big people. Because I'm like 6'3", I was right. like 210 or whatever. Yeah. And so it makes people forget. Like you feel the pain, but you forget. Yeah. So the doctors and the nurses can give you orders like, hey, big man, get up on the... get get." get up on that operating table. You go, yes, sir. And you jump on, and then you forget. And then they cut you open and you go, eh, what was that? <laughs> Nothing, big man. Just relax. You'll forget all about it. Yeah. So, like I always say, it was like a bad relationship in an injection. Oh, like man. you just feel the pain, but you forget everything. Yeah. So like any general anesthetic, it takes several days afterwards for it to wear off. So after I got home, I'm walking through the house, and suddenly there's a half glass of water in my hand. And, and it's like I was born in this minute, and yeah. I didn't know if I had drunk half the glass of water or if I was going to the kitchen to refill it or if I was coming from the kitchen. The worst was wow. when I was in the bathroom, standing over the toilet. I was holding little Steve, and <laughs> I did not know if I had started to pee, had finished peeing, right. whatever. And then Annie in the other room says, you finished 10 minutes ago, flush and get out of there. Oh, wow. So you just forget and you're born in that minute. So I told Chris this story and I got the part. Wow, that's insane. So all you had to do was just tell that story and you're like, oh. I told that story to yeah. Chris and, and we had the bestest time shooting that movie. Uh, we, yeah. It was so great and Chris, is so great at the helm, great director, and uh, 
I mean, we all had so much fun shooting it. I, it I bet. And I, I mean, how was it? Uh, it's because a lot of your uh, scenes, I mean, you're doing acting with your eyes, which I love. And uh, I mean, was that difficult for you? Was that hardest that... part I ever had? Yeah. Everybody says, oh, what's hard? You know, Memento was the hardest role I ever played because you realize very quickly the only thing that drives an actor through the scene is their motivation. Right. How they get from point A to point B. But if you really cannot remember, if you really don't know where you are from moment to moment, you have no point A or point B. Yeah. So you have to be willing to float in a sea of nothing in the middle of a scene and try not to act bad, overact right. like, oh, I can't remember what I'm doing. <laughs> right, or, yeah. Or really remember and slip up sometime and... You yeah. remember where the TV changer is. You have to know, you don't know where the TV, you don't even know what you're watching. Right, yeah. You have to yeah. not recognize your wife and then recognize her. And it has to just happen in the moment. And it was, and Chris wanted coverage for these scenes. Now these scenes, a lot of the scenes, you know, with Guy Pierce, they weren't scripted scenes. They were long, just, yeah. They they had no dialogue. Right. But Chris wanted us to put dialogue in it, just make stuff up and do the scenes. And he was going to cover it, which meant as an actor, you have to remember what you did in your last take. So trying to remember what you did in your last take while consciously trying to not remember anything. <laughs> yeah. But it's like a really difficult thing to do. I'm sure. Yeah. It's a paradox. Like